Hi, in this fifth video, we are going to extend the HTML and JavaScript to add functionality of selecting a specific customers and later showing its orders and even printing them. So let's introduce to our JavaScript the concept of selected customer. Let's say this dot selected customer is equal to null because we are starting with nothing there. And let's add a select customer function. Select customer will be a function that receives a customer and saves it to self.selected customers, selected customer equals to cast. Great. Now we want to call this function whenever somebody clicks on the company name. So over here in our HTML, we're going to say ng click. Whenever you click, I want you to call the demo controller dot select customer and send it the cast as a parameter. Now to display that, we need to put some HTML to show that. So let's say here, something like um, h3 selected customer is, and we'd say here cast, so pc dot selected customer dot company name. Perfect. Let's see it running in our browser. So we're going to say here, well, A, and we're going to click on a customer, and we can see how the selected customer responds to us clicking. Great. Now let's go and get the orders for this customer and display them in a table. So let's add another member here called this dot. Click over here actually. This dot orders equals an empty array. And when this, let's put a table over here. Let's say table. And just because I'm lazy, I'm going to copy something that I prepared in advance. We have the table header over here. This is the data we're going to show for the orders. And we're going to add a T body. And in the tip body, we're going to have a TR. And the TR is going to be repeated for every O in DC orders. Okay, for every order in DC orders. And in that table row, we're going to put in O dot. And we're going to go back to our browser to start copying and pasting. So we have a customer. Okay local post demo order slash this here we have the orders so we'll have the order id again i'm using copy and paste to avoid making spelling mistakes which i usually make let's make order date and require date and ship it. Cool. So we have the HTML that is ready to receive the orders, and we have the orders array over here. All we need to do is go and get the orders from the server once a customer is selected. So let's say self dot orders equal to server get data list of demo slash orders, and we'll send it this. So self dot selected customer dot customer ID. And just make sure your customer ID was spelled right. Great. Let's see if it runs. Let's refresh our, refresh our page. So now we have our table over here, and we can say A. Hey, select a customer and get that customer's orders. Look how quickly and easily we were able to get the information for that customer over here. Now in the next videos, we're gonna style this a little bit so it's gonna look a bit better and we're gonna polish it a little bit and later we go and print that order using the migrated code. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.